Welcome to the Marshall Space Flight Center 2020 Agency Honor Awards Program. Here's our center director, Jody Singer. Hello, I'm Jody Singer, the director of Marshall Space Flight Center. Welcome to the 2020 Marshall Space Flight Center Agency Honor Awards. I am so happy to be here, even though it is virtually. You know, this is the favorite part of what we do is the Honor Awards. You know, it is so important to be able to recognize the folks, especially during this year of, that 2020 has been. And one of my priorities for this past year is change management. And I'll say to you, you've made me proud in how you've handled all that you have faced in these chaotic and challenging times. Today, we're celebrating the men and women that exemplify this year's theme, working together, transforming, leading the way. It's a fitting thing because when all of our people work together to achieve a common goal, we transform all that is possible. And we lead the way from liftoff to landing to make deep exploration possible. Thank you for all you do. You, our people, are the heart and soul of Marshall Space Flight Center. You're the most important part of what we do. I'm glad we're able to recognize you today. Your dedication to our mission lights the way for us to continue to inspire the next generation. I'd also like to introduce now Rick Burt, who's my deputy, and I would like for him to say a few words. Rick. Thank you, Jody. I am so proud of our Marshall team members who are awarded today. You embody this year's theme, working together transforming, leading the way. I always tell teams I'm leading to number one, do the right thing. Number two, to do it right. Number three, to do it now. And fourth, own it. I know that kind of attitude is what got you here today. Your amazing accomplishments are not possible without the kind of leadership that comes from within yourselves and it grows outward to the rest of your team as you work together. Every one of us must be a leader in their own role, and you have shown what great ones you are. I want to thank you all you have for what you have accomplished and continue to accomplish to help Marshall get it right. And now I'd like to hand it over to Steve Miley, our Center Associate Director, uh, to say a few words. Steve? Thank you, Rick. Happy to be here to celebrate each of the honorees and your fantastic accomplishments. Our team is what makes Marshall so great. Thank you for being the bright stars among us. And thank you for the outstanding work you are doing to carry our missions forward. We've been through a lot in the past few months. I know it has not been easy. And I wanna make sure you know how much you are appreciated by our center and our agency. I would also like to thank those who have supported you in your career, including your family and friends and teammates. It's that working together that makes this real. No one does it alone. Please continue to care for yourselves and your teammates as you continue to lead the way. I know that great things are on the horizon for us as a center because of the great things you are doing and all you bring to our team. And now I would like to introduce Renata America, who will lend her talents to perform the national anthem for us today. Renata. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the realm parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that 
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner and wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. It's now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker. Kathy Leaders is the NASA Associate Administrator of the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. Prior to that, she directed NASA's effort to send astronauts to space on private spacecraft through the commercial crew program. It has been a spectacular time when we returned Americans launched from American soil to the International Space Station. And I'm so proud of the work that Marshall Space Flight Center does in our involvement in the commercial crew program. And I'm also so proud of what she is doing to advance women in her field. As the first woman to head human spaceflight for our agency, she is a great leader who happens to be a woman and my friend. It's inspiring to all she leads and her colleagues just like me. I have always appreciated how she is able to make Marshall employees working for her feel like a part of the team, very included. No matter the zip code, we're all in this together. This is a critical time for the agency and the Human Exploration Mission Directorate. And I know that her leadership will help us in our current endeavors and future missions, of which the Space Launch System and the Human Landing System are critical parts. We're in a wonderful place because of the work she continues to do and for her leadership. And I'm proud to call her a friend. Please welcome Kathy Leaders. Hi, I'm Kathy Leaders. Associate Administrator for the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. I am so pleased to be here today to participate in the Marshall Space Flight Center Honor Award Ceremony. You will often hear me say that exploration is a team sport. I truly believe that. From my newest vantage point, looking across the breadth of human spaceflight activity, I see connections between our work on every level what we do on the ground, through research, test, development, and all the critical areas of mission support, with what we do in low Earth orbit, ISS operations, cargo resupply, commercial crew, microgravity science, and what we do robotically, learning about all the extreme environments where we want to go in person one day, and what we do for ourselves, pushing the boundaries of technology, learning more about our planet, and solving some really big problems along the way. All of this work works together. The accomplishments of any person or team feeds the success of the whole organization. We are one NASA team working together to achieve a common goal, to make human deep space exploration possible. All of you receiving these awards today represent the best of Marshall's commitment to the NASA mission. 2020 was a challenging year, and in spite of that, you have accomplished incredible things. Consider the Artemis program and how we are working together, transforming, leading the way in space exploration. The teams for Orion, the Space Launch System, and Exploration Ground Systems working together are so close to accomplishing our first Artemis mission. As someone who understands the challenge of bringing a development program to full operations, I also know how it feels when we're getting close. Artemis I is coming fast. I hope you can feel it too. In fact, NASA's entire Moon to Mars exploration campaign is in full swing. I'm thinking of the incredible potential of the CLIPS program, and I'm thinking of perseverance, humanity's eyes and ears, and hope for ancient and future life on Mars. Marshall is instrumental to both of these programs. For CLIPS, your history working with our commercial partners to deliver critical technology needed for future human exploration is hugely beneficial. 
for the legacy of perseverance. Marshall is developing the Mars Ascent Vehicle that will launch those samples off the surface of Mars and bring them to Earth. Because of the pandemic, I'm still living in Florida. And because of that, I get to see the Space Launch System coming together at KSC. It is so exciting to see the SLS hardware at Kennedy. I know how much hard work went into every piece that arrives. It will also be a thrill to see the final piece of hardware, the core stage, complete a successful Green Run test campaign. Teams at Marshall, Michu, and Stennis are diligently working through so many challenges during Green Run, and NASA is grateful for it. SLS will prove to be the world's most powerful rocket, the backbone of the Artemis program, and a shining example of Marshall and Michoud's engineering expertise. We will become more efficient with every piece of hardware you build for future Artemis missions, which will put us on a sustainable path to accomplish our goals. This time, we are going to stay. To that end, I'd like to acknowledge one of your own, Dr. Paul McConaughey, who is leading the HEO Mission Directorate Sustainability Assessment Team. SLS carrying Orion to the moon will make the impossible possible. Both are foundational assets of the Artemis program and key to discovering what's out there and what's in us. The SLS Block 1B will unlock even more capabilities, including sending astronauts in Orion along with large payloads to the moon in a single launch. But Marshall's contribution to Artemis is more than the most powerful rockets. As a world leader in aerospace development and manufacturing, Marshall is involved in NASA's Artemis missions from liftoff to landing. Case in point, the human landing system. Developing the human landing system is a key component of successfully executing crewed demonstration missions to the lunar surface under the Artemis program. The work Marshall is doing with risk reduction activities and completing a demanding procurement process has not gone unnoticed. I know standing up a huge program like that requires an incredible amount of work, so thank you to the HLS team here. The landing systems we develop now will provide a path to land astronauts on the moon, lay the groundwork for sustainable lunar exploration, and because everything is connected, even Mars. Speaking of connections, this month we will celebrate 20 years of science aboard the International Space Station. Over two decades, Marshall's Payload Operations Integration Center has provided 24-7, 365 days a year support to astronauts living in space. Marshall's experience with payload operations will be vital as we prepare for Artemis mission operations, including SLS and uncrewed lunar surface operations. Marshall's storied history with ISS serves as a test bed for the exploration systems and capabilities we will need for future missions including advanced ECLIS, payload operations, science and materials research. The center's legacy of developing life support systems and habitation systems is already being utilized as we develop the gateway and human landing systems. Scientists at Marshall are developing the advanced life support systems to keep our astronauts healthy during their travels to deep space. Marshall continues to make progress toward a November 2021 launch of the Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer. Any mission that will help unlock secrets about supermassive black holes and other phenomena across the universe is one worth getting excited about. In closing, I hope that you are as optimistic as I am about the future of NASA and of Marshall's critical role and human deep space exploration. NASA's next few years are going to be awesome and challenging, but fun. Thank you again for all that you've done and what you will continue to do. The work you are doing now will stand the test of time, pave the way for the Artemis generation, 
and exceed our imagination of what is possible. NASA Distinguished Service Medal This is NASA's highest form of recognition that is awarded to any government employee who, by distinguished service, ability, or vision, has personally contributed to NASA's advancement of the United States' interests. The individual's achievements or contribution must demonstrate a level of excellence that has made a profound or indelible impact on NASA mission success. And therefore, the contribution is so extraordinary that other forms of recognition by NASA would be inadequate. Roy Malone, Jr. For distinguished service that has profoundly impacted the effectiveness of NASA with other federal agencies, ensuring mission success for critical agency programs. NASA Outstanding Leadership Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee for notable leadership accomplishments that have significantly influenced the NASA mission. Sustained leadership and exceptional high-impact leadership achievements should demonstrate the individual's effectiveness in advancing the agency's goals and image in present and future terms. Jason Adam For Exemplary Dedication performance, service, and leadership to the agency, center, and science and technology office through a dynamic environment. Yvette Benford, for exceptional leadership and initiative in leading flight software design, development, and testing for various projects, including NASA's Space Launch System. Robert Bobo, for outstanding leadership enabling the closure of complex design environments in support of Space Launch System and cross-program design and flight certification. Michael Bradford For exemplary leadership, dedication, and creativity resulting in mission success of the Marshall Space Flight Center Facilities Operations and Maintenance Office. Donald Chavers For outstanding leadership in developing the agency's plan to meet NASA's challenge of placing boots on the moon by 2024. Joseph Cianciola for outstanding leadership and personal dedication towards successful completion of the SLS and improving manufacturing capabilities for future Artemis missions. John Chrysler, for exceptional leadership, mentoring, and coaching, giving limited resources while delivering an outstanding design certification review for the SLS Booster Element Office. Monica Hammond, for outstanding leadership in the initiation, development, and execution of the Stages Prime contract as the Contracting Officer Representative for the SLS Stages Element. Rosalind Hicks For exceptional leadership in performing the roles of both Acting Director and Deputy Director of Mishu Assembly Facility, ensuring continuity of all NASA operations. Randall Hopkins for exceptional engineering leadership while serving as the Advanced Concepts Office Study Lead for the Lynx Telescope. Richard Howard For outstanding leadership in advancing, shepherding, improving, and growing the early career initiatives within the Space Technology Mission Directorate and Agency. Gary Humphrey For outstanding and extraordinary leadership as the Marshall Space Flight Center Supply and Equipment Management Officer. Ruth Jones for exceptional leadership as both Acting Director and Acting Deputy Director of Mishu Assembly Facility during a difficult transition. Joe Leppard For exemplary leadership in executing change management within engineering while achieving results for the programs and projects serving as a role model for others. Jennifer McCogren for extraordinary management in facilitating a contract restructure in support of the Space Launch System stages and enabling NASA's mission to send humans to Mars. Kevin McGall For providing exceptional leadership and analysis and communications for Marshall Space Flight Center as NASA implements the Artemis program and reconfigures the manner of providing mission support. Joseph Pelfrey for distinguished service, outstanding leadership abilities, and exceptional dedication to the agency and Marshall Space Flight Center. Lisa Smith, for successfully leading the Systems Engineering Office through a transformation focused on flexibility and innovation while advancing the systems engineering discipline. David Thaxton, for outstanding leadership accomplishments that have significantly influenced the Marshall Space Flight Center Occupational Health Services Program and the NASA mission. 
NASA Outstanding Public Leadership Medal. This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or to an individual who is not a government employee or government contractor employee during the period in which the accomplishment was achieved for notable leadership accomplishments that have significantly influenced the NASA mission. Sustained leadership and exceptional high-impact leadership achievements should demonstrate the individual's effectiveness in advancing the agency's goals and image in present and future terms. Philip Brown For outstanding leadership, dedication, and commitment that significantly raised the standard of excellence at Marshall Space Flight Center's Health Physics Program. NASA Exceptional Service Medal this prestigious NASA medal is awarded to a government employee for sustained performance that embodies multiple contributions which contribute to NASA's projects, programs, or initiatives. Susan Best For exceptional contributions to the International Space Station Program and the Huntsville Operations Support Center customer base throughout the world. Benjamin Birkenstock For exceptional service in the design, development, fabrication, qualification, and delivery of cryogenic propellant tanks for the SLS stages element. Stacy Cook, for sustained superior performance and exemplary leadership in the execution of multiple NASA projects directly supporting critical agency goals and objectives. Jerry Eckley, for conception, design, and delivery of advanced statistical analysis and consulting support, which contributes to the center and NASA mission. John Garrison, for sustained exemplary technical contributions, leadership, operations, and mentoring in structural dynamics testing at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Deborah Cromis, for outstanding engineering support and continuous achievement in software and systems engineering excellence. Brian Mitchell, for dedication to the success of the International Space Station from initial build, improvement of critical life support systems, and enhancement of science capabilities. Knock Wen, for exceptional service and dedication, ensuring operational readiness of Mishu assembly facility equipment and systems in support of SLS core stage manufacturing. Deborah Percival, for exemplary leadership and personal dedication to providing application services and support vital to the agency payroll operations. Mark Perry, for distinguished service in testing and design support of NASA and Marshall Space Flight Center sponsored programs and test facilities. Robert Palsgrove, for excellent service in certifying the Boeing ULA Atlas V launch vehicle propulsion systems for the first human rating of a commercial launch vehicle for crewed spaceflight. Michael Prince, for extended exceptional service, ensuring technical rigor was imposed to the appropriate degree in support of critical SLS booster and additive manufacturing projects. Brian Ramsey, for sustained exemplary service to NASA in designing, building, and testing of X-ray optics for spaceborne astrophysics observations and analysis. Carolyn Russell, for the extraordinary welding and materials engineering achievements applied towards the execution of multiple research, development, and flight projects. Felicia Stevens, for exceptional analysis and development of the Marshall Space Flight Center Facility Master Plan and the Marshall Space Flight Center Strategic Workforce Plan. Baraka Truss, for exceptional leadership and dedication to the agency in the role of Marshall Space Flight Center Software Chief Safety Officer and Software Assurance Lead. Warren Woods, for exceptional leadership and dedication as the Audit Manager and the Chief Safety and Mission Assurance Officer for the Spacecraft Payload Integration and Evolution Project. NASA Exceptional Public Service Medal. This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or to an individual who is not a government employee during the period in which the service was performed for sustained performance that embodies multiple contributions on NASA projects, programs, or initiatives. Michael Briggs For outstanding critical, prior, and ongoing contributions to the unilateral success of the Fermi mission and the Fermi Gamma Ray Burst Monitor Project. Mural Chapman, for exceptional service and personal dedication and support of NASA's SLS and Lunar Lander programs 
by providing extraordinary institutional services to Marshall Space Flight Center. James Garner for sustained exceptional service in the performance of systems engineering and integrations for the Space Launch System Stages element. Brian Hastings, for continuous exceptional service, mentoring, and leadership of the mechanical test team in support of NASA missions and goals. NASA Exceptional Engineering Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for exceptional engineering contributions toward achievement of the NASA mission. This award is given for individual efforts for applications of engineering principles or methods that have resulted in a contribution of fundamental importance in this field, or have significantly enhanced understanding of this field, or have significantly advanced the state of the practice as demonstrated by an application to aerospace systems. Peter Berg, for exceptional achievement and successful implementation of innovative modeling and simulation concepts for space vehicles and payloads. Matthew Cross, for outstanding technical excellence and leadership within the technical field of propellant thermal fluid systems. Jeffrey Dilg, for demonstrated exceptional achievement in the advancement of spacecraft payload integration and evolution of the space launch system. Karen Hicks, for exceptional engineering contributions that have significantly enhanced the system's engineering discipline and implementation on the SLS Secondary Payloads Program. David McCutcheon, for exemplary leadership and analysis supporting the SLS booster elements approval of the Artemis I propellant liner insulation waiver on negative structural safety factors. Jeffrey Montgomery, for exceptional service in the role of integrated training lead and in leading the successful implementation of the training system for 21st century. David Odell, for exceptional engineering contributions in the design of a novel active current limit circuit for the Life Sciences Glove Box Power Control Module. Alan Patterson, for outstanding initiative and leadership as lead instrumentation engineer during buildup and testing of SLS core stage liquid hydrogen tank structural qualification test. Barry Roberts, for outstanding efforts in developing the Space Launch System Weather Launch Commit Criteria for Artemis One. James Wilson, for technical leadership in eliminating the concern of loss of mission due to sound suppression water intrusion in the Space Launch System Solid Rocket Booster Nozzle. NASA Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for exceptional scientific contributions, specific, concrete scientific achievements, toward achievement of the NASA mission. This award is given for individual efforts that have resulted in a key scientific discovery or resulted in contributions of a fundamental importance in this field or significantly enhanced understanding of the field. Rene Weber, for outstanding contributions in the field of planetary seismology that have expanded our understanding of the Moon and Mars surface processes and interior geologic structure. NASA Exceptional Technology Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to government or non-government individuals for exceptional technology contributions achieved in one or more of the following. 1. Technology development significantly contributing toward achievement of the NASA mission. 2. Development of a broadly applicable disruptive technology for advancing future research capabilities or commercial applications. 3. Development of key conceptual or theoretical advances to technology that significantly accelerate the achievement of NASA's mission. 4. Exemplary collaborative effort in achieving significant technology transfer or technology infusion. 5. Exceptional utilization of NASA-developed technology resulting in a significant commercial application. James Richard for sustained exemplary dedication, creativity, innovation, and leadership in propulsion system valves and ducts technology development. Mitchell Rodriguez, for exceptional engineering leadership and development of the nuclear thermal propulsion technology demonstrator. Eric Stewart, 
for advancing state-of-the-art structural dynamics with innovative motion magnification technology to measure mode shapes and frequencies of a structure. Brian Walls, for exemplary effort in collaboratively achieving significant technology infusion with industry partners on NASA video content. NASA Equal Employment Opportunity Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for outstanding achievement and material contribution to the principles and goals of NASA's Equal Employment Opportunity, Diversity, and Inclusion programs either within the government or within community organizations or groups. Enrique Jackson for recognition and appreciation for tireless efforts to improve diversity and inclusion in the NASA workforce by inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. Brenda Mack, for providing outstanding service, improvements, and leadership to the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity and for exceptional dedication to fulfilling its mission. Andrew Moulton, for leadership in diversity and inclusion programs, including recruitment and retention efforts for the LGBT and allied personnel for the center and agency. Leslie Smith, for outstanding support of the Space Launch System program by technical excellence and sustained efforts to inspire and provide equal opportunity through outreach programs. NASA Exceptional Administrative Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee in the NASA Clerical Assistant Classification or non-government equivalent for significant, specific achievement or contribution that clearly demonstrates a substantial improvement in administrative support contributing to NASA's mission. Karen Aruna Ogun for outstanding administrative support and establishing process improvements in support of the Office of the Director. Megan Godwin, for sustained and exceptional performance in support of the Marshall Space Flight Center Engineering Advanced Concepts Office. Tracy Higgins, for exemplary performance and dedication in the role of administrative supports at the Mishu Assembly Facility. Felicia Pierce, for providing excellent, innovative, and efficient administrative services in support of the NASA Principal Center Recycling and Sustainable Acquisition Annual Conference. NASA Exceptional Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee for a significant specific achievement or substantial improvement in operations, efficiency, service, financial savings, science, or technology, which contributes to the mission of NASA. Eric Alexander. For exceptional achievements in SE&I leadership for the Habitation Systems Development Office and technical excellence in support of the Gateway Program. Stephen Burke, for exceptional achievement and the highest personal commitment in the superior performance of duties leading the successful execution of the SSFL Strategic Business Plan. Diane Kane, for exceptional leadership, dedication, and outstanding support of the Incident and Injury-Free Program at Marshall Space Flight Center. Sam DeGessu, for outstanding achievements in leading the procurement development team for the Marshall Operations Systems, Services, and Integration Contract Competition. Jason Duquette, for providing exemplary physical, industrial, and informational security support to the Space Launch System Program. Greg Eldridge, for outstanding leadership in identifying and implementing improvements in government mandatory inspection and insight processes in support of core stage delivery. Kathy Hatley, for exemplary achievement as the Source Evaluation Board Chair for the Government Services Administration Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions Telecommunications Contracts. Shanna Johnson, for exceptional dedication and leadership as the Marshall Space Flight Center's Quality Audit Team Manager. Jose Nunez Zapata, for outstanding technical leadership in the deployment of software-defined networking at Langley Research Center for Network Automation and Advanced Cybersecurity. Warren Peters, for outstanding achievement in delivering the four-bed carbon dioxide scrubber flight desiccant core assemblies, leading to innovative approaches throughout the advanced process. Allison Sant, 
for exemplary commitment and leadership of information technology systems activities and supports of the Office of Procurement and the Marshall Space Flight Center. Gregory Swanson, for exemplary achievement in the support of manufacturing, testing, and analysis of the Space Launch System 5-segment solid rocket booster propellant liner and insulation. Libby Yeomans, for providing exceptional support to the Space Launch System Integration Lab on resolving the Internet Protocol version 6 requirement, ensuring critical path procurements remained on schedule. Curtis Zimmerman, for outstanding support of the Space Launch System and finding efficiencies to computer-intensive simulations of the launch vehicle. NASA Exceptional Public Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or any individual who was not a government employee during the period in which the achievement was accomplished. The award is for significant, specific achievements or substantial improvement in operations, efficiency, service, financial savings, science, or technology, which contributes to the mission of NASA. Charles Adams for dedicated service and sustained exemplary performance as mission manager for the IRMA portfolio in support of the Technology Demonstration Missions Program. Eric Holsenbach, for superior contributions to the operational planning, coordination, and readiness of the RS-25 core stage engines for delivery, installation, and flight on the SLS vehicle. Chantel Jacob, for outstanding support to NASA in the establishment and execution of multiple large-scale interagency agreements and Space Act agreements key to exploration. Judith Marples, for significant contributions to the success of testing and delivering Huntsville Operations Support Center system and services in support of multiple programs. Joey Shelton, for exceptional achievement in the definition of interface requirements and process for the Human Landing System Program. Anise Stegall, for outstanding leadership, dedication, and sustained achievement in the development of flight hardware during the January 2019 furlough. NASA Early Career Achievement Medal this prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee for unusual and significant performance during the first 10 years of an individual's career in support of the NASA mission. The performance is characterized by an unusual initiative or creative achievement that clearly demonstrates a significant contribution in the individual's discipline area that directly contributes to NASA's mission and goals. The contribution is significant in that for an employee who is at such an early phase of career, the contribution has substantially improved the discipline area. Michael Allison, for outstanding sustained leadership as a lead systems engineer, improving in-house and industry propulsion capabilities through collaboration, drive, and technical expertise. Ivan Bertoska, for extraordinary innovative and creative contributions to the guidance, navigation, and control discipline through flight projects and technology development. Chad Eberhardt, for exceptional technical contributions to the commercial crew program in the area of combustion dynamics and stability. Patrick Gatlin, for innovative lightning and precipitation research leading to the success of Severe's Applied Science Team and other Earth Science Initiatives. William Landers, for outstanding project management in support of SLS hardware development, critical SLS test article delivery, and the Commercial Space Launch Act. Tyson Littenberg, for outstanding work in the development of data algorithms and science analysis, supporting groundbreaking gravitational wave observations and research. Nathan Marchman, for exceptional performance and knowledge in becoming the NASA subject matter experts on the self-propelled modular transporter software and operations. Stephanie Morrow, for exemplary and dedicated leadership and support of thermal design and analysis for commercial lunar landers, CubeSats, and passive thermal control research and development. Althea Moorhead, for outstanding effort in the development of the Meteoroid Engineering Model version 3.0. Amanda Otieno, for providing outstanding service, empowerment, and leadership to the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity and for exceptional dedication to fulfilling its mission. 
Sri Harsha Yayapati, for consistently achieving high-quality results and requirements development and integration tasks related to the Space Launch System ground-based and airborne imagery system. Jonathan Rosales Franco, for exceptional technical achievements and innovation in the area of nuclear fuels fabrication for the NASA Nuclear Thermal Propulsion Project. Sarah Triana, for extraordinary achievements demonstrated for the Earth Science Dacital Architecture Agency studies. Richard Turner, for leadership, dedication, and technical expertise in implementing quality activities leading to the successful delivery of core stage. Jill Williamson, for significant engineering contributions to the urine processor assembly telemetry data tracking of real-time operations, including a full historical review. NASA Early Career Public Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to any non-government employee for unusual and significant performance during the first 10 years of an individual's career in support of the NASA mission. Performance is characterized by unusual initiative or a creative achievement that clearly demonstrates a significant contribution in the individual's discipline area that directly contributes to NASA's mission and goals. The contribution is significant in that for an employee who is at such an early phase of career, the contribution has substantially improved the discipline area. Morgan Camp for exceptional performance in providing industrial hygiene services to the Marshall Space Flight Center community in support of NASA's space exploration mission. Krista Maddox, for outstanding leadership and technical contributions to the microgravity science glove box team training process. Carol Myers, for successful execution of space utilization actions for the Facilities Management Office in support of critical personnel relocation to support NASA's missions. William Tilson, for outstanding leadership and technical contributions to the Microgravity Science Glove Box team training process. Jeremy Westmoreland, for excellence in research and analysis of the Marshall Operating Environment. NASA Silver Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA Silver Medal is awarded to governments and non-government individuals or teams by NASA Center Directors for a stellar achievement that supports one or more of NASA's core values when it is deemed to be extraordinarily important and appropriate to recognize such achievements in a timely and personalized manner. Scott Babbitt, for exemplary performance in support of the Quality Assurance Branch and the Space Launch System. Linda Bocek for exceptional service and personal dedication and support of Marshall Space Flight Center and NASA's property management process. Joseph Brunty, for outstanding leadership and technical expertise provided to ensure the successful development and integration of products to support the successful launch of Artemis One. John Caldwell, for outstanding technical leadership while upgrading the test facility control systems in the environmental test facility. Jamie Cruz, for exemplary performance and outstanding leadership in overcoming schedule and hardware challenges of the SLS Pathfinder Vehicle Activities at MAF and Stennis Space Center. Jalisa Fletcher, for exemplary performance and dedication in the role of budget analyst supporting the Space Launch System and Orion programs at the Mishu Assembly Facility. Jessica Gaskin, for outstanding leadership and stellar work as the study scientist for the Lynx mission, a National Academies of Science concept for a future NASA flagship X-ray observatory. Brian Good, for significant technical excellence within the engineering field of propulsion thermal fluid systems. Henry Higginbotham, for exceptional performance in the manufacturing and acceptance of the SLS launch vehicle stage adapter in support of the initial mission of the SLS Artemis I. Patricia Hill, for providing outstanding management and support as Marshall Space Flight Center Equipment Manager in inventory and loss rates by consistently exceeding agency goals over the last three years. Lakita Huey, for exceptional service leading the flight operations readiness of the core stage and exploration upper stage element for Artemis I. Thomas Inman, 
for proactive and strategic formulation supports, resulting in a strong program integration foundation for the Human Landing Systems Office. Kimberly Keith, for exemplary service to NASA as the lead integrator for the 2019 National Governors Association event. Teresa Lynn Mayo, for outstanding contributions and administrative support to the Spacecraft and Vehicle Systems Department, ensuring personnel actions are processed effectively and efficiently. William McGuire, for exemplary dedication and skill in the manufacturing, design, and assembly of additive manufacturing demonstrator engine turbo pumps, combustion devices, mixer, and valves. Karen McTaggart, for exemplary dedication and skill in the manufacturing, design, and assembly of additive manufacturing demonstrator engine turbo pumps, combustion devices, mixer, and valves. Julie Nordman, for outstanding dedication to the pursuit of excellence and teamwork in the Huntsville Operations Support Center in support of multiple flight programs. Robert Patrick, for outstanding dedication and support to maintain environmental compliance at Marshall Space Flight Center during the 2018-2019 government shutdown. Gary Rogers, for extraordinary customer service to the Marshall Space Flight Center Facilities Management Office by improving the facility's record management system. Samuel Russell, for providing outstanding technical leadership in the field of non-destructive evaluation engineering that exemplifies the qualities of safety, customer service, and teamwork. Gregory St. John, for exceptional performance in the Quality Assurance Branch, displaying technical skills enabling the successful processes for flight hardware built and tested at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Margaret Stroud, for exemplary leadership in developing requirements for the human landing system to carry humans to the moon. Cindy Upton, for outstanding achievement and sustained efforts in management of the UAH Cooperative Agreement, the complex and unique vehicle that enables Marshall Space Flight Center science. John Vital, for exhibiting outstanding technical and leadership skills in the area of advanced structural analysis supporting the space launch system. Charles Walker, for exemplary performance in support of Marshall Space Flight Center programs and projects in carrying out the role of Bastion Technologies Non-Destructive Evaluation Responsible Level 3. Katrina Wright, for exceptional leadership in specific roles in the Industrial Safety Branch, displaying technical skills and leadership to enable a safe working environment. Bradley Zavatsky, for invaluable contributions to the successful development and implementation of the Fiscal Year 2020 Discovery Mission Announcement of Opportunity. NASA Group Achievement Awards this prestigious NASA certificate is awarded to any combination of government and or non-government individuals from an outstanding group accomplishment that has contributed substantially to NASA's mission. For example, quality of results plus impacts at the agency or multi-center level on programs of operations, effective management of cost and schedule, customer satisfaction, or success in responding to unforeseen crises. Bridge Champions Team for providing outstanding service and leadership to the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity and for exceptional dedication to fulfilling its mission. CCP Demo-1 Propulsion Analysis Support Group for outstanding and timely propulsion structural, fluid, and thermal analysis, assessments, and support to the Commercial Crew Program leading to a successful Demo-1 mission. Chandra Observatory Operations Control Center Team for outstanding site selection, design, development, test, and verification of a new Chandra Operations Control Center by the Chandra OCC Relocation Team. Chandra Source Catalog 2.0 Team For highly dedicated design, development, and completion by the Chandra Source Catalog Team of the Chandra X-ray Observatory's Legacy Chandra Source Catalog 2.0. Chief Financial Officer Career Development Team for exceptional achievements in leading highly effective and cost-efficient Office of the Chief Financial Officer Career Development Initiatives. Collect Earth Online Team For outstanding efforts in the development of Collect Earth Online, an innovative satellite image and viewing interpretation system for land use and monitoring. 
Commercial Crew Propulsion System Team. For outstanding propulsion system engineering support to the Commercial Crew Program's launch vehicle and spacecraft elements of the SpaceX DM-1 mission. Communications Program IPTV Project Team. For exemplary performance in the design and implementation of the Communication Program Internet Protocol Television Project. Cumulus Team. For commitment to innovation, collaboration, and teamwork in the transition of the NASA Global Hydrology Resource Center science data to a cloud computing platform. Deep Space Atomic Clock Project Team. For dedicated service and sustained exemplary performance for the Deep Space Atomic Clock Project in support of the Technology Demonstration Missions Program. Enterprise Voice Transformation Team for exemplary performance in the design and implementation of the Enterprise Voice Transformation to interconnect NASA Center Voice Systems. Green Propellant Infusion Mission Team For exceptional achievement in design, test, integration, launch, and first-time on-orbit demonstration of the Green Propellant Infusion Mission Propulsion Subsystem. InSight Lander Cratering Development Team for outstanding innovation in the demonstration of advanced predictive capabilities and reconstruction of plume-induced surface cratering for the Mars InSight lander. Lynx X-ray Observatory Mission Design Team For outstanding performance for the Lynx X-ray Observatory Mission for the Astro 2020 Decadal Survey. Medical Services Contract Team for dedicated and exemplary teamwork to develop and implement the agency's first commercial-based medical services contract model for Marshall Space Flight Center. Marshall Space Flight Center Apollo 50th Anniversary Integration Team. For exemplary service to NASA and support of the 18-month Apollo 50th Anniversary Strategic Communication and Engagement Efforts. NEA Scout Propellant Loading Team. For dedication and exceptional technical expertise demonstrated in flight near Earth Asteroid Scout Reaction Control System Tank Propellant Loading. Severe Synthetic Aperture Radar Handbook Team. For outstanding contributions towards a widespread applied understanding of the use of the synthetic aperture radar technologies for improved monitoring of forest resources. SLS Ascent Transient Aerodynamics Test Team. For outstanding planning and execution of the Space Launch System Block 1 Cargo Ascent Unsteady Aerodynamic Wind Tunnel Test in light of an aggressive schedule and budget. SLS LOX STA Move and Barge Team For exemplary performance and outstanding teamwork in moving the SLS LOX Tank Structural Test Article from a SHU Assembly Facility to Marshall Space Flight Center. SLS Pathfinder at SSC Move and Barge Team for exemplary performance and outstanding teamwork in overcoming complicated challenges related to SLS Pathfinder Vehicle to from the B-2 test stand at Stennis Space Center. SLS Program Independent Cost Estimate Team. For exemplary programmatic and planning control support of the Space Launch System Program in creation of independent cost estimates for critical contracted assets. Software-defined access early deployment team. For exemplary performance in the deployment of a software-defined access next-generation network capability on the Langley Research Center production network. Space Launch System Avionics Integration Test Team. For outstanding accomplishment in the planning and conduct of the Space Launch System Phase 1 Integrated Avionics Testing Program in the System Integration Laboratory. NASA Silver Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA certificate is awarded to any combination of government and or non-government individuals for an outstanding group accomplishment that has contributed substantially to NASA's mission. For example, quality of results plus impacts at the agency or multi-center level on programs or operations, effective management of cost and schedule, customer satisfaction, or success in responding to unforeseen crises. CCP Demo-1 Flight Valves, Lines, and Ducts Team For exemplary dedication and outstanding valves, lines, and ducts support for the Commercial Crew Program SpaceX Demo-1 Mission. Gateway Habitation Element Team For exceptional performance in the formulation and implementation of the Gateway Habitation Element, providing significant contributions to NASA's return to the Moon.
Green Run Acoustic Water Redesign Team. For exemplary performance in redesigning the acoustic migration water system for the Space Launch System Green Run while enabling the test to remain on schedule. Lightning Protection Systems Risk Mitigation Team. For exceptional support of the Lightning Protection Systems program resulting in a significant risk reduction to Marshall Space Flight Center personnel and property. Material Science Research Rack Controller Team. For successful resolution of the Material Science Research Rack Controller aboard the International Space Station to allow continued material science development. Merlin Gas Generator Baffle Erosion Team. For outstanding performance in identifying the physical mechanisms of the Merlin Gas Generator Baffle Erosion and verifying design changes to ensure resolution. Marshall Space Flight Center Metrology and Calibration Laboratory Team. For recognition of the Marshall Space Flight Center Metrology and Calibration Laboratory Team for their resourcefulness and initiative in overcoming obstacles and their commitment to NASA's mission. SLS Probabilistic Risk Assessment Team. For exceptional developments of the Space Launch System Probabilistic Risk Analysis in support of the Artemis I Design Certification Review. 3D Printed Habitat Challenge Competition Team. For outstanding efforts in designing and executing the 3D Printed Habitat Challenge Competition that resulted in game-changing technology advancements for NASA and the nation. Hello, I'm Ginger Flores, representing the Human Exploration, Development, and Operations Office. I want to congratulate each honoree and team member represented here today. Your pursuit of excellence and discovery is humbling and inspiring. We are so proud to have you as members of the NASA family. So from the Marshall team, congratulations again and thank you for all you do. Congratulations to Marshall's Honor Award recipients. The accomplishments being recognized today are a testament to the can-do Marshall spirit that is alive and well, even in the midst of the most challenging times. Our awards theme this year is focused on all of us, bringing our diverse talents and perspectives together to accomplish great things. My sincere appreciation to all the honorees for leading the way. Your accomplishments are truly inspiring. Congratulations, honorees. And thank you for all of your hard work and dedication towards NASA's mission this past year. I am so thankful to be on this journey with you. Congratulations to all our award recipients today. I know this has been a different way to celebrate and recognize your amazing accomplishments. But like everything else during this pandemic, we found a way to adapt. Thank you to everyone that made this ceremony happen. It wouldn't be a success without your hard work. Even though I'd prefer to be with all of you in person, this is still the best part of my job, bringing attention to the great work of our outstanding Marshall team. I know your agility and ingenuity will continue to shine as we navigate these uncertain times, and I can't wait to see what you can achieve this year. So thank you and have a great day.